Canada has long been viewed as one of the wealthiest nations on earth, a top 10 economy with ample job opportunities, high quality of life, and endless potential. And a look at the top 10 global economies ranked by GDP shows Canada fluctuating in its place, but remaining in the top 10 for most years out of the last several decades, and remains in that place today. So this seems like not much has changed, and Canada remains in exactly the same spot, right? Well, not exactly. If we break down the numbers and look at what they mean for individuals by looking at both GDP per capita and GDP per hours worked, we see that in 1970, Canada had the ninth highest GDP per capita among OECD countries, whereas in 2022, we ranked 15th. And this was before experiencing a contraction in GDP per capita. As for GDP per hours work, Canada was ranked 6th among OECD countries in 1970, and in 2022, has fallen to 15th here as well. And again, this data is from before a contraction in productivity over the last two years. This means that while Canada remains a top 10 economy in pure size because it is still a developed country with a mid-sized population, it can no longer be considered one of the wealthiest nations among OECD countries in terms of individual wealth as it has been surpassed by many other countries. Another metric to look at is the Human Development Index, or HDI, which goes beyond the sometimes superficial GDP metrics and looks at life expectancy at birth, expectancy level of education, as well as gross national income per capita. And here as well, we see a similar trend in which in 1990, Canada was ranked third. Today, once again, it's now ranked 15th. While there are a number of causes, and I've talked about them more in some of my other videos, one I want to point out here is Canada's lack of investment in research and development, or R&D. Canada ranks 21st out of OECD countries in terms of R&D spending as a percentage of GDP, compared to 9th place in 1981. R&D spending is crucial because it's an investment in finding out how to be more productive, or in other words, how to accomplish more with less. And doing more with less is essentially what underlines all increases in living standards. Now the big caveat to all of this is that Canada's GDP per capita and HDI index are far higher today than they were during the periods where Canada was in the top 10. So Canada has still improved, it just hasn't improved at the same rate as other countries. And while Canada is no longer in the top 10 wealthiest nations, real GDP aside, 15th means Canada is still extremely wealthy with a high quality of life on a global scale. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you want to know more about Canada's economy and its productivity woes, I have a video that might interest you right here.